Hi, my name is Lee, and I'm a self-defense instructor with Progressive Self-Defense Systems, located in Boca Raton, Florida. In today's world, we are filled with news of violence on a daily basis. There is no immunity. Recently, there was a violent attack that struck a nerve with so many. On December 16th of 2012, a 23-year-old medical student was brutally raped and tortured by six men on a bus in India. The torture that this innocent young woman endured galvanized both men and women throughout the world. On December 28th, she passed on from her massive injuries. Hearing this broke my heart. We hear stories every day of violence towards innocent people in every culture, of every age and of every gender. As a member of the Jeet Kune Do Athletic Association, it has become our mission to step up and take action. I'm speaking to you today not only as an instructor, but also as a victim. And now as a victor, with the ability to share my story and my knowledge to help others. A few years ago, I was your typical 30-something. I was working in an office, married, and had a great life. In an instant, my life unraveled into something I only heard of in the news or saw on TV or in the movies. I was the one that always thought that it would never, ever happen to me. I became a victim in a di very difficult and unpredictable marriage. Upon filing for a divorce, my husband took action into his own hands and decided that he would never give me a divorce. In one night, we became a story on the news, and at the age of 37, he was shot and killed. Time passed, and I was still caught in a world of fear. I created my own personal jail in letting violence control my life. Until traveling to Guatemala with my mom and my sister, when my sister was adopting a little beautiful baby boy. Being there, we wanted to take a tour of the city and take in the culture. We thought we had done everything right. We set up a tour with the tour uh, the hotel concierge, who highly recommended a tour guide. The tour was great until we stopped at the market to shop. It was in the middle of the day and the city center was full of people. We were following our tour guide down a set of stairs when all of a sudden my mom let out a piercing scream. Turning around I saw a man with his hands around her neck. I'll never forget that horrible feeling and seeing my mom's eyes filled with panic. Without thinking I punched him straight in the face. The reaction he had on his face was one of shock. He quickly ran from the area. But thankfully, my mom was unharmed. Scared, shaken up, but unharmed. Here we are in the middle of the busiest area in the city, with a lot of people around us, and not one person came to our aid. Our guide only asked if we wanted to call the police. At that point, we just wanted to leave. So many things went through my mind after having the chance to understand what happened. My reaction was pure adrenaline. It was the what-ifs that still haunt me to this day. What would I have done if he had pulled out a weapon, a gun, a knife, or even fought back? Then what? Returning home, I decided not to be a victim. My cousin introduced me to a police officer who was also a self-defense instructor. This is where I finally took control of my life. Self-defense is not about muscle. It's not about hurting people. It's not about playing games, or it's not about having ego or living paranoid. It's about living life with confidence and a sense of empowerment. My life could have been so much more different. With my husband's death and the scare of witnessing my mom being attacked, these two horrible events molded me into where I am today. I could have easily stayed a victim, depending on others for protection. I chose to take control of my well-being and my personal safety. Many people live to day to day with the notion that it'll never happen to me. Think to yourself, what would you do? Call the police? Definitely. But it takes time for them to get to you. They have to call dispatch, then they have to locate you. And that's even if you have a telephone. During all of this, you're still being attacked. The violence doesn't stop. It only takes seconds for violence to strike anyone at any place at any time. Learning a few valuable skills and being situationally aware could save your life. This is the time to take control of your life before something happens. We are brought up to prepare for everything. We buy a dress for the party, buy makeup to, and lipstick, and do our hair and our makeup, and even prepare for our dinner. This is part of our daily lives, so why not prepare for the most precious part, which is our own personal safety. If you aren't safe, it doesn't matter what you're wearing, it doesn't matter if your hair is perfectly done and you're having the best hair day of your life. None of us are able to predict the future. Live or in a protected bubble or change the behavior of violent individuals. The only thing we're able to do is learn about how to be aware. 
I'd like to introduce you now to John Riddle of Progressive Self-Defense Systems and Black Belt Instructor of the Year for 2012. He has been a police officer for over 28 years. He's worked everything from SWAT and now a sergeant. And he's witnessed firsthand the tragedies that take place every single day to the everyday normal person like you and like myself. Please take the next few minutes and listen carefully as he passes on to you valuable information that could save your life. Being situationally aware and making it part of your everyday routine may prevent you from being a victim. Each of us has a responsibility to ourselves, our family, and our friends to take control of our personal safety. Don't wait until you're faced with a situation, become a victim, and a statistic. Take your first step by being educated. Help bring justice to all victims by empowering yourself with awareness. Thank you.